All right, so we're on day three, and if it isn't obvious, we didn't hire a detailer. <laughs> uh, my wife was adamant about us doing this ourselves. So we have uh, a Bissell Little Green Pro uh, portable carpet cleaner. We have, uh, this is a great uh, fabric clean. It's uh, by Chemical Guys, Foaming Citrus. has a great smell to it. Uh, I've had good success getting uh, all sorts of chemicals out of uh, upholstery with that. So all we're doing is we have it in a mixer bottle here and you just spray it right on the uh, fabric, get a nice coat on there. Like that. And then uh, just use this little uh, brush and just work it in. And it'll, it'll actually foam up using the brush. Now we have a drill and we have drill attachments too. There are some attachments over there and. My wife's playing with the uh, the drill attachment, so uh, that can speed it up for the rest of the uh, the thicker carpet. But for this uh, upholstery here, I think this should work pretty good. There is a little bit of discoloration right there. I don't know if you can still tell, because it was really close to where the fire was. We removed the, the tool bag, um, but yeah. So we'll give this a go. We're gonna start in the uh, trunk area. Get this nice and clean. It looks like you just depress this to uh, inject uh, water or solution. Right now, uh, so here's the waste tank, and then here's the uh, fresh water tank. We just put hot water in there. It can't go above 140. It's like 120 out of our water heater. 126, 130 max. Mm -hmm. So um, now we'll just uh, let's give it a try, see how this thing works. Uh, let's turn it on. Got it sprayed down and uh, brushed with a drill. Uh, we use that same cleaner, and now we'll just use this uh, this Bissell unit and give it another scrub and a spray with some water from this jet, and we'll see how clean it comes. All right, so there's the first result, just doing uh, the cargo area first. So tailgate, flap, and then uh, the main uh, cargo uh, spare tire cover. So that took just a little bit of damage to the side and there's a little bit of insulation underneath this damage, but I, it's totally salvageable. Yeah, it, it should be replaced uh, because it is damaged, um, uh, but I'll probably end up just, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll do a teak take cover wrap eventually but uh anyway so that's that's cleaned up those parts alone um it took my nose up to it smell a lot better um i've already started ordering some other parts as well so the large plastic piece that was here it actually extends up to about there underneath that's on the way uh there's a uh, a top vent that's on the way and um this uh carpeted cargo panel is on the way as well and then um Again, as soon as the insurance uh, uh, person uh, does their thing, we'll rip out all of the uh, burnt parts and then take a more complete inventory of what's needed. So, yep. Uh, the next part we'll do is probably we'll work on these other cargo covers and do a little bit of uh, spot upholstery cleaning, spot upholstery clean the back seats, and then we'll move on to the carpets on the inside. So, yep, there's that. 
so far, most of the surfaces we've we've gotten, uh, except for the the um, the pillars. Uh, I and once again, I I don't think they're saving that headliner, so we're probably gonna slate that for replacement. Uh, but yeah, it's it's looking a lot better already. And oh yeah, and this is something else we we need to get ordered as well, because that's damaged beyond repair. But yeah, not not horrible. It's coming along nicely. That's uh, day three update so far.